I'm here at Bob's house with Addison and Andrew. Bob used my instructional videos and just hit some sticking points. I thought he was slowly getting more crazy after retirement because this is his first ever painting project and it's on a whole entire wall. I started on this project and Addison said, why don't you YouTube a video how to do waves in the clouds? Did you guys watch the instructional, my, my instructional videos? Um, I actually One. didn't. I just kind of sent it to him and said, good luck. Yeah. Okay, great. Okay. So I'm applying without, without blending, without spreading. As soon as I start going like this, smearing it out, it's drying fast at that point. Keep it heavy enough that it's not drying super fast, but maybe, you know, maybe it's not dripping down your wall quickly. Right. Either. So I'll, I'll start spreading this out. So I'm just going to blend that gradually up into the darker blue. I reach the top, I'm going to gradually go down. Okay, so next it's your turn. Uh, you know, I'll, I'll be on the ladder and I'll be working like this. And, and I have very precariously stacked gallons like this. You know, I'll have them on here on a run like this. And, and it's and it can be done, but it's not especially stable. So I'm always nervous when I do something like that. So this is really cool. I don't think this is what it's made for, but look look how much safer and more stable. My son was working for me. His feet bothered him, and he uh, it inspired him to come up with this invention, of which he got patented. That's cool. And it has literally just come to market. So if we go like this, then we can make a wave anywhere we want by just throwing some light turquoise in there. That's my lighter, greener color. Here's a peak, so we can just go like this, make a bright spot, and we'll just leave it separated and, and put a few strokes that blend it, but don't blend it too much. Now we've got a wave that we'll put reflection on later. And if I have bright water, let's put, let's put a bigger one. This'll be fun putting a bigger one right there. I can do these shapes just like I'm going to do the reflections, so the little smile shapes that you did. I can take this big fat brush and do those same shapes right across the top. Same place I would put reflection. The reason I do that is because the surface of the water not only reflects what's above, but it stops what is underneath from being seen. It stops the light from under. So dark areas gives me a perfect place to put my light reflection. And I can actually map it out with just these two colors. There you go. And now I'll move to the bottom of it and start blending the bottom into the dark color. All right, now do you see how that makes a glowing wave shooting yeah. up out of the water? Very nice. Yeah. So this is the wet on dry technique because we're going over the surface that is already dry with this very, very wet, soupy mix. So I'm going to get the excess out of my brush, then we're going to go over here to the wall. Now I've already set myself up with the areas that I've decided are the, we'll call them the faces of the waves. And so uh, we'll, we'll go here and start right here. So this is the edge of a wave, spear shape, stroke, so low pressure, higher pressure, low pressure gets the spear shape and when I do that quickly then I'm going to start running out of paint as I go upward like this across the top there across the top there and I, I work my way up generally it's up not down you can go down but it's just easier to go up now I've got this this very watered down paint and that might be too much water we'll see how it dries there is a balance to it. Now I'm just gonna target the upper edges of all these spots that I painted and just very lightly go over them. Wherever I hit those upper edges, it causes a, a very small gradient that makes the water look like it's swooping that direction. Wherever I have these dark areas, those are my starting points for this reflection.
Bob is a metal worker, and so this this is the decoration that was planned all along for for this wall. So we got a marlin. Tell me a little bit about that sculpture. Uh, well, so this is a uh, striped marlin, and I also have a black marlin that's going to go facing it. Boy, if anybody needed a super cool wall, uh, Joe would be the guy to, to have come and do it, I think. Can we put these up and see what they, I mean, uh, just I, hold, hold them in place and see how they look. That's kind of fun to see them where they're going to, are they going to be something like this? Yeah, something about like this yeah. right here. Yeah, cool. And then there'll be a tuna jumping up in between the two of them. 